Hello everyone, welcome back to Professor Windelnot's Museum of the Strange and Unusual. We just went into, I believe this is called the Tombs Room, and over here is the, uh, the Tomb of the Exupi, as seen by the interesting symbol here. So, uh, let's, there's a little plaque. Yep, Tomb of the Exupi. I love the artwork here. Don't you, Light Blight? It, it's great, yeah. I mean, some of the artwork in this this game is pretty good. A lot of the exhibits are impressive. Mm -hmm. Now, the only thing that bugs me, like, here's... It shows, like, all the positions of where the pots used to sit and all their respective symbols. This room doesn't do anything for you, though. Like, you, you're not supposed to put these back. And I think it would have been cooler if you had to bring them back here. Into their original so just, position. It just kind of gives you an idea of what their bases look like. Mm -hmm. And up here we have kind of like the legend of the Exupi pictorial form. Like, here's, like, their pods, and people release them. Right. And then they got sad when they attacked them, and so they decided to do something about it. So they retrapped them back inside. And now they're strong. <laughs> uh, Alright. And uh, one other thing is this dial. Now, the Tomb of the Exupi from the pamphlet should be green. There we go. It's, there's green, blue, yellow, and red on these. Styled. Love these. We got this cool Egyptian stuff going on. So, yeah, there's one thing here. So, okay, uh, the Sphinx, professor of lost wisdom and guardian over the city of the dead. The Sphinx stands watch over the greatest tombs ever built, the pyramids. Search and you may learn wisdom from these ancient lips. Oh, really? As it turns I know the Sphinx talked. What? I didn't know this thing's talked. It does. And it has steps. <laughs> Good we thing we're not trying to learn wisdom from its ancient nose. <laughs> no, we have to click on its mouth. Listen. The heretics that lay beyond have driven out all of the gods save eight. So begins Egypt's decline. If thou art wise, thou shalt know that the names of this pharaoh and his queen be placed forever in shame on the columns of Ra. Ah. Ra Ra Amen Ra. So here, actually, the uh, sis boom ba. <laughs> Think, I thought that was a little silly. I I did. I thought that was a little silly in that game. But here are the columns of Ra they're referring to, and we need um. The pharaoh and his queen who caused Egypt's decline. Hmm. Care to refresh your memory? Why, yes. Again, go to the most valuable book in the game. <laughs> Let's see. Nothing about... Oh. Okay, try to introduce most monotheistic worship of the god Aten unsuccessfully into Egypt and began its downfall. Aho! Akahunten and Nefertiti. These symbols. All right. Easy enough. <laughs> All right. That one. Okay. There's the Pharaoh. And there's his queen. Ooh. Wonder what's inside. What do you think's inside? Uh, the golden idol? Let's see. Oh, it's just a pot. Oh, another exhibit pot. Hmm. It's like water. Hmm. Eh. Might as well take this one with us. One thing you have to do is you kind of have to remember where you put all these things. I was thinking, isn't isn't that doesn't it get a little bit difficult as you go on because you start forgetting where you left? So you have to hunt down each yeah, matching half of the body to you find. Put them just for storage. Like there's a couple spots, like in the library. I didn't show this, but there's actually doors on the bottom of the shelves you can open to put some of these pots in them if you want to store them there. But actually, oh, right, I see. But right behind the Egyptian exhibit, bro, well, in the back of it, there is another exhibit here. The Curse of Anubis. Of Anubis. <laughs> cool. Ooh. Do we dare open it? 
I guess we'll have to. Hmm. Just a bunch of, just a bunch of cloth, cloth ribbons and skull. <laughs> At least for now. Okay. Now, I've been debating what to do here because right up here there's actually a door that kind of leads us more into the museum proper. But there's another little path here that you can take. But over here is a very conspicuous little square. And if you turn this leaf... Huzzah! We're kind of in the back quarters of the second floor of the museum. Now these also lead... Remember that elevator that was down near the library when we went into that back mm -hmm. alleyway? We can connect to that elevator in these passes, passages, but I don't want to do that because there's actually... Where these portraits are, there's something else we can find. <coughs> hmm. Do you hear that? Yeah, what is that? Well, it's that. Oh dear. Now, wood is actually a pain in this game, I remember this. Remember how I said it's actually possible to avoid most of Zoopy? Mm -hmm. Ig Zoopy, I guess that's how you say it. That one is actually in some very nasty locations where if you don't move quick enough, you can actually get zapped by him. You have to be careful. Now, we can't get this door open, but there's this puzzle. What you can do here is you can switch two tiles. Then you press this button and you rotate both of them. And I only know how this goes together from playing it so many times. At least I hope I remember. That goes there. I think there is a picture of this somewhere in the museum, but I can't remember. What do you think of this puzzle? Uh, it looks a little pornographic. <laughs> pornographic? Why do you think it's pornographic? I don't know. I see a lot of uh, naked limbs and what appears to be horses. It's horses? What's a knight? Oh, I see. Okay. Naked horses. Naked, naked people. Well, yeah, I mean, the horses are naked. Come on, it's, uh... <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, we're down to the last two pieces. Now, this is where it gets a little bit puzzling. So you got to make sure these are in the right place. You see, I got one piece out of order, so I'm going to have to do a little switch here. It's like all the other pieces are right except this one. Yeah. But don't worry, I have a plan. Kinda have to like offset them. I'll switch these and hopefully land on No, I'm back down to one again. <laughs> now that's right, no, they're wrong. Okay. That one. This is sad that I'm a math person and this is fumbling me. There we go. Ah, there we go. Okay. Let me see this mysterious thing. A fortune telling machine. Now, Late Blight, I want you to read what this card says, okay? Uh, let me see. I just need to pull it up. Oh, it's not up yet. Okay. Oh, yeah. Watch. Read this card. Earth must be aligned with love and wan. Then from below you'll discover Monet? Or oh, or oh, more, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, more, I'm sorry. That looks like an N. Okay. It does, Earth and I actually made the exact same mistake you did. <laughs> I totally did. Earth must be aligned with love and wan. That's what I said the first time. 
but it's Earth. Uh, it's okay. I should have guessed because you can clearly see the R in Earth is the same letter. Okay, duh. Okay, Earth so must be alive with love and war. And then from below, you'll discover more. We're going to have to figure out what that says next time. Because we're out of time. See you then, everybody.